So I will start with this overview of our work plan for 2021. I think you're all familiar with it. Uh, it's about 10 activities or exactly 10 activities split in five uh, distinct work streams. Um, so this needs to be updated, of course. A lot of activities have progressed. Some have not yet started, but as you will see today, we have still some progress to report on. Um, so the first work stream is the WASH and OCV. We're trying to, to boost work uh, across pillars and WASH and OCV go very well hand in hand. The first activity is to pilot the guidance, uh, the guidance on WASH minimum standards delivered in parallel to OCV campaigns. This has been done against all odds uh, in Tigray in Ethiopia. Malika and Francis will make a presentation on that topic later on. Then the inclusion of WASH in OCV requests, which still needs to be kickstarted. And an additional review of activities integrating WASH and OCV. The last one is about two years old and it's time to refresh this. The second work stream is uh, WASH in national cholera control plans. There is one activity which will also be presented today by Omar Al Hattab. So it's development and the piloting of a coasted tool for the WASH pillar of the NCPs. So quite an important piece. Then the third work stream is WASH data. Uh, we want to contribute to a repository of, of uh, WASH data, if possible, very closely linked to the cholera database developed by John Hopkins University. But we always have to keep in mind that those data sets need to be uh, exchangeable with other partners. So we'll have to give some consideration to this. And the methodology for the WASH baseline in cholera hotspots, which has been developed by CDC and that Tom Hansel will present to us today. The fourth work stream is uh, cholera WASH research. We had our third webinar a couple of months ago, if I remember well, on, on this, uh, where Welcome introduced us to their uh, research project tracker, which has a certain amount of uh, WASH, cholera WASH, a research in it and should be uh, continued in the future. And the last work stream is advocacy. Uh, Megan will also give us a presentation. There are three activities under uh, this work stream on the work plan. The first one is to develop uh, messages. The second is to develop an act uh, advocacy strategy. And the last one is to build up on the successes linked to the COVID-19 response. So for me, that would be all. I kept it uh, sweet and short because uh, my colleagues have more important inputs to give. 